chilling with my boys and we cruising down the street. Yeah. It's getting really hot, yeah, these bars are super heat. Yeah, yeah. drum in this car, yeah, we finna go to Mars. Yeah, I'm really fucking sad, I'm like going across the car. Oh my god, you're so tall, you look like a giraffe. Mm -hmm. That's why you dead built like a baked bean. A baked A baked bean! <laughs> baked bean nut! Baked bean nut! I'm a pimp slap you. Say it again. That's what I thought. You're going to come into this house and you're going to clean. And if anything come up missing in my house, I promise you, you gonna come up missing. You have three wishes, but there are three rules. You can't kill anyone, you can't make anyone fall in love with you, and you can't ask for more wishes. What do you want? I want to sleep with you. What? Like, sex? Uh, the, 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 the rule, you can't make anyone fall in love. There's no love in it. We can be mad at each other. <laughs> There are four rules. Hey, a letter! I have friends! Oh, that's not a letter, that's a threat. What's up with you? You've been home for an hour and a half. Not even once. Not one time have you tried to cuddle me, and it's pissing me the fuck off. I want my fucking cuddle. Tyler the Creator, why should people care about Tyler the Creator? Why should people care? They shouldn't. I'm not shit. I actually suck. It's tight. All right, you ready for your funeral? Yeah, let's get it over with. All right, now this is serious. I want you to be serious now. I got you. I got you. Here lies the body of someone special. <laughs> Wait. Can I have my sweater back? Can I have my virginity back? Did you have a nap today? <laughs> I did. <laughs> well, you need one. <laughs> Oh my god. It's happening! Oh, it's my brother! <gasps> Did he get me the stuff? Yeah, he says he got you the clown costume, the power drill, and 12 gallons of blood. Wow. Where do you find 12 gallons of fake blood? You wanted fake blood? Alright, bitch, you know what? I'm trying to maintain my fucking composure. I'm trying to keep from knocking this motherfucking snag a tooth ass bitch. It's COVID time, I have no more friends. The government made me abandon them with latex gloves and isolation. The fun never ends in COVID time. I've been single for so long, somebody asked me who I was with. I said Verizon. This is why you should always check under your bed for monsters. In 2012, a young woman who is on the phone with her boyfriend walks downstairs to the lobby of her apartment building, collects her mail, and then heads back up to her room. She sits on her bed to start sifting through the mail when she drops her phone and it falls under the bed. She lies down on the ground to try to reach her arm out to grab her phone when she notices something horrible underneath her bed. A man is lying underneath her bed with his back to her. He's in the fetal position. She manages not to scream. She grabs her phone and says to her boyfriend, hey, I gotta go shower, I'll call you back. And she quickly runs into the bathroom, locks the door, turns on the shower, and then jumps out her first floor window. Once she's safely across the street, she calls the police who quickly arrive and they go inside and they come out with a deranged, skinny looking man. Before they take him away, one of the officers walks over to her with a very grim look on his face. He looks at her and he just says, we found him standing outside of your bathroom holding a knife. He was waiting for you. This is why you should always lock your door while you're driving. A man just got off work and was driving home. It was about 2 a.m. and he came across a red light. It was one of those red lights that sit for way too long. The man contemplated on running the red light, but he wanted to be a good Samaritan, so he said, I'll just wait it out. And this is where the story takes a very dark turn. So a woman sitting at a bus stop sees the man's car stopped at the red light, so she walks over to his window. The man then gets very worried as the woman approaches his window, and she looks at him, and she knocks on the glass. The woman then signals him to roll down the window just like that. The man then rolls down his window just enough to have a small conversation. The woman looks at him and says, I've been beat by my husband, can you help me? The man looks at the woman and notices that there's no bumps or bruises, so he's kind of eerie about this. The woman says again, I've been beat by my husband, can you help me? The man just starts staring at this woman in shock. The woman then says the same exact thing over and over again. So as this woman keeps asking over and over again, the light suddenly turns green. The man looks at the woman and says, I can't help you. The woman smiled and said, you just saved your life. 